Think you know everything about the Civil War? Think again. Beyond the famous battles and celebrated generals lies a world of astonishing stories that will change everything you thought you knew about America's bloodiest conflict. From balloons to submarines, this video will take you on a journey through the shadows of history. Welcome to American History Gazette, and enjoy the video. Number one, submarines and ironclads. The Civil War, often remembered for its grand battles and strategic maneuvers, also introduced groundbreaking technological advancements in warfare. Among these innovations was the first successful submarine attack in history and the emergence of ironclad warships, marking a new era in naval combat. The Confederate submarine H.L. Hunley achieved a historic feat in 1864 by sinking the USS Housatonic, demonstrating the potential for underwater warfare despite the Hunley's own tragic loss shortly afterwards. Meanwhile, the clash of ironclads, most notably, the battle between the USS Monitor and the CSS Virginia showcased the obsolescence of wooden warships and the dawn of armored naval vessels. These developments not only changed the course of the Civil War, but also set the stage for future maritime conflicts, highlighting the conflict's role in accelerating technological innovation in military history. Number two, the Balloon Corps. In an era when military intelligence was primarily gathered from scouts and spies on horseback, the Civil War saw the innovative use of the Balloon Corps by the Union Army. This early experiment into aerial reconnaissance provided Union commanders with a bird's eye view of Confederate positions, marking one of the first uses of balloons for military intelligence gathering. Thaddeus Lowe, a prominent aeronaut, led the Balloon Corps, utilizing hydrogen-filled balloons tethered at heights of up to 1,000 feet to observe enemy movements and direct artillery fire. Despite skepticism from some military officials, the information gathered from these aerial platforms proved invaluable in several key battles, offering a significant tactical advantage. The Balloon Corps' pioneering work laid the groundwork for the future of aerial surveillance and reconnaissance, underscoring the Civil War's role in the evolution of military technology. Number 3. Coffee Obsession During the Civil War, coffee emerged not just as a cherished ration but as a symbol of comfort and morale among soldiers. This deep-seated love for coffee led to innovative methods of brewing, especially among Union troops, who had more consistent access to coffee beans compared to their Confederate counterparts. The Union blockade aimed to deprive the Confederate soldiers of coffee, among other supplies, which led to the Confederates concocting various substitutes from available resources, like chicory, corn, and sweet potatoes. Meanwhile, Union soldiers would roast green coffee beans in a frying pan over a campfire, grind them with their rifle butts, and boil the grounds in water, creating a brew that provided both warmth and a psychological boost. Number four, Civil War Surgery. The Civil War introduced advancements in medical practices, among which the high rate of amputations stands out as a stark testament to the era's brutal combat and the state of medical knowledge. An estimated 60,000 surgeries, about three quarters of which were amputations, were performed during the war, making it common procedure for battlefield injuries. This surge in amputations was largely due to the widespread use of the mini ball, a conical bullet that caused devastating injuries upon impact, shattering bones and making limb salvage often impossible with the medical technology of the time. Surgeons facing the risk of gangrene and infection without the benefits of modern antibiotics or surgical techniques frequently opted for amputation as the best chance for a soldier's survival. Despite these primitive conditions, the war spurred innovations in surgical methods and the organization of military hospitals, laying foundational practices for modern trauma surgery and emergency medicine. Number five, the draft riots. The Civil War draft riots of 1863, primarily in New York City, stand as the largest civil insurrection in American history outside of the war itself. Sparked by the enactment of the Conscription Act, which allowed wealthier men to pay for substitutes to avoid being drafted, the riots reflected widespread discontent among working class citizens. Over four days, anger and violence erupted on the streets, targeting draft offices, wealthy homes, and African American communities. The riots highlighted deep seated racial and socio economic tensions, as many rioters were Irish immigrants or their descendants, who feared competition for jobs and resented fighting in a war they saw as benefiting the wealthy. The unrest resulted in significant loss of life and property, forcing the Union Army to intervene to restore order. Number six, 
The Emancipation Proclamation's Limited Scope The Emancipation Proclamation, issued by Abraham Lincoln on January 1, 1863, is often celebrated for declaring the freedom of slaves in Confederate-held territory. However, a lesser-known fact is its limited immediate impact on the institution of slavery. The proclamation specifically targeted those states in rebellion against the Union, leaving slavery untouched in the border states loyal to the Union, as well as in Confederate areas already under Union control. This strategic move was designed to weaken the Confederacy's war effort by promising freedom to their labor force while maintaining political delicacy with the slaveholding Union states. The proclamation also authorized the enlistment of African American soldiers into the Union Army, changing the character of the war and setting the stage for the eventual abolition of slavery with the 13th Amendment. Number 7. Foreign Involvement The Civil War, while a predominantly internal conflict, garnered significant international attention with European powers closely monitoring its progression and implications. Britain and France, in particular, entertained the possibility of intervention on the side of the Confederacy, drawn by economic interests tied to cotton and the opportunity to weaken a rising global competitor. Confederate diplomats worked diligently to sway European opinion, leveraging the cotton trade by implementing cotton embargoes in hopes of forcing European intervention due to their reliance on southern cotton for their textile industries. However, the Union's diplomatic efforts, highlighted by Secretary of State William Seward's foreign policy maneuvers, and the impactful victory at the Battle of Antietam, alongside the issuance of the Emancipation Proclamation, helped shift European opinion in favor of the Union cause. This shift was crucial in preventing formal recognition of the Confederacy by European nations, illustrating the global dimensions of the Civil War and the importance of diplomacy in securing Union victory. Number 8. Massive Desertions Throughout the Civil War, the Confederate forces faced not only external battles, but also internal challenges, with desertion rates escalating as the war progressed. It's estimated that up to one-third of Confederate soldiers deserted before the conflict's end. These high desertion rates can be attributed to multiple factors, including the harsh realities of the war, dwindling morale as the Confederacy's prospects dimmed, and the pressing needs of soldiers' families back home. As the war dragged on, the initial fervor that spurred enlistment waned, leaving many to question the feasibility and cost of continuing the fight. Additionally, the rich man's war, poor man's fight perception, stemming from policies allowing wealthier men to avoid conscription by hiring substitutes, fueled resentment and disillusionment among the ranks. This significant loss of manpower weakened the Confederate Army, impacting its ability to sustain prolonged engagements and ultimately contributing to its downfall. Number 9. Women in Combat During the Civil War, the battlefield was not the only domain where gender norms were challenged. Hundreds of women disguised themselves as men to serve in both the Union and Confederate armies. These women, driven by patriotism, the desire for adventure, or the need to stay close to loved ones, took extraordinary risks to participate in the nation's struggle. They cut their hair, adopted male aliases, and mastered the mannerisms of men who passed undetected among their fellow soldiers. Many of them fought bravely, were wounded in battle, and some were even awarded for their valor before their true identities were discovered. Their contributions remained largely unrecognized until well into the 20th century, as military records seldom acknowledge their service. Number 10. Multiracial Regiments in the mosaic of Civil War history, the story extends beyond the well-documented regiments like the 54th Massachusetts to include a diverse array of participants whose contributions are less frequently highlighted. Contrary to the monochromatic portrayal often found in textbooks, the battlefields were scenes of remarkable diversity, with Native Americans, Latinos, Asian Americans, and even international volunteers fighting in integrated units on both sides of the conflict. These individuals brought unique perspectives and valor to their regiments, challenging preconceived notions of the era's racial and cultural dynamics. From the Cherokee battalions aligning with the Confederacy, to Union regiments composed of a broad spectrum of races and nationalities, these soldiers' involvement underscores the Civil War as not only a pivotal moment in the struggle for unity and equality, but also as a reflection of America's intricate social fabric. And that's 10 facts you didn't know about the American Civil War.
If I missed any interesting or lesser known facts, make sure to let me know in the comments. If you want to support the channel, our Patreon is in the description below. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on our next adventure.